Yo, what's up? This video has been brought to you by Card Kingdom. Well, with Multiverse of the Machines or whatever, March of the Machines, we got a bunch of new battles and the biggest one that I wanted to play with was actually an Explorer and it was Invasion of Tarkir. Now, the card is absolutely looking to be used in Explorer and Pioneer uh, because there's so many sweet dragons, right? Like we have so many dragons like Nico Bullets, Ravager, Thunderbreak, Regent. Unfortunately, we are still missing cards like Silumgar Scorn. So we're not really a Grixis Dragons control deck. We're really just red black dragon splashing for Nico Bolas, right? We are using Revaz of the Claw as a mana dork and a way to kind of cast a dragon creature that's fallen and died from the graveyard, do it over again. And of course, Invasion of Tarkir will just hopefully take over a game if we get to flip, attack with multiple dragons, things like that. So let's see if this battle helps dragons out in Explorer. Opponents got an Obosh. I'm expecting a lot of odd costed cards. Yeah, yeah. I think I have to thought seize their three. Rotting Regisaur. Yeah, that's pretty bad for us. All right, let's get rid of Rotting Regisaur. I can't answer it, so we got to get rid of it. Um, Get hit for one. Assuming they don't have anything to do, I, I, I just don't block the... Uh... Oh, no, I think I have to... That's a 3-5. If I blow up one of these elves right now, they don't get to play it. But I'm so far behind. I've got to force them into a situation here where they want to attack me, right? Yeah, that's really good. And that's going to deal that much. It doubles damage. Oh, wait, hold on. It's only double the damage. Why didn't I just... Oh, that's that's not good. So that's two, eight, so three more damage and I get got, right? But now that I've already got my gold span, I guess I don't mind. Like they get a fatal push. Dragon. Exert, swing, deal damage to the homie. I guess, I don't know, do they have a way to kill me for two here? So I can't use this mana confluence anymore. I die if they hit me with, if I use it. But the good news is that I get gold span dragon. Oh my God. I mean, this seems pretty solid, right? We have the early interaction or we have the sweeper. We have a mana dork. I just, oh, don't thought see me. Oh, I got thought seized. You know, I need to find a way to gain life in this deck. I would have probably gone more Grixis if we actually had access to uh, Silumgar Scorn. The blue dragon payoffs just aren't in Explorer yet, so that's why I'm just only pretty much Rakdos. Thought sees a Ken. They are going at it right now. I mean, I got nothing better to do, so sure, pass. Don't tell me you got another Thought Seize. That would be three Thought Seizes. And yeah, they're gonna make me have it every time because they know my hand. Sure, so that's gonna grow one. Oh boy, really not good at doing this whole like drawing useful stuff things, huh? I mean, yeah, I'm gonna have to exile. Oh, come on, number three. Thought sees number three. Cool, I just wanted to verify that was the same one I saw. Oh my God, masterfully played. Actually just a God tier gamer. They know I have a glory bringer. They know a whole hand is known to them right now. Drawing that dragon fire was the best thing that could have happened to us. Goldspan? At least this nets me a, a treasure, even if they target it. So they have the removal. I still get something out of it. Sure. Surely there's no more thought seizing involved, right? You know what, I have to imagine some amount of these are just probably like fatal pushes from the opponent. I have to lower Soren because this way if they do minus three, it just dies. Granted, I don't know how I'm going to beat whatever it is that's going to come out of it, but like, yeah. You know what, Thought sees me for the fourth time? Wait, that seems wrong. Hold on. Why, did, why would you do that? Well, isn't that just a fun time? They very much so have a fatal push. Let's see what they do with their... Cards in hand currently. Doesn't matter whatever whatever they pump it to, I'll just kill it with Fatal Push. Yeah, you got it. So they're they're now empty-handed. They're gonna they're probably gonna activate Castle here. 
You are a wizard if you have your four thought seas right now. I'll take two. I mean, we just go to the face, right? I gotta get rid of the, the thing that has, like, lifelink. You wanna tap out. You wanna play that murderous rider, don't you? Yeah, there you go. All right, I'm gonna minus to make a dragon. Getting rid of the life linker now. So at least now I can represent that I can block. Of course, if they fatal push it, then no, I can't. Dusk Legion Zealot, you got it. Okay, <laughs> they're down to one greatness at any cost, and I love it. Good game, good game, beating their Thoughtseize heavy hand. We have Thoughtseize, we have it all, I'll keep. Am I, oh, I, we're probably getting Thoughtseize first. Yeah, we, we are. Uh, let's take a look at what they're working with. I think Shealdred's the only thing that matters though, right? Yeah, we'll just get rid of Shealdred. I know that it's a four drop, but Shealdred's a problem, and when we don't have any, like, we don't even have any five power dragons, so, to be honest with you, it only is Shealdred's Edict and, like, a few other things that could get rid of it. Do I play the Cycle Land? I think I do. Play the Cycle Land, Black Cleave Cliffs next turn. I can't do anything this turn anyways. I can, it's not like I can uh, use Brotherhood's End or anything like that. Run wild, opponent. I mean, they know about the card in hand, the one that is very much so a removal spell. I think they're waiting for like a Thought Seize or something like that. Okay, well, I'm definitely killing your... Well, maybe I'm not killing anything. When I've got every land in my hand? There's only 17 lands left in the deck. Surely I can't draw any more. I'll be fine. If I don't do anything, I'm just going to get Thought Seize, so yeah. I got to start forcing the issues from the opponent. They didn't want the Blood Chief's Thirst, the answer in uh, to my bolus. That means they have to have another one, and they did. All right, so it's just a 3-3 as of right now. I can live with that. Maze Mind. Okay, now I'm definitely firing off this Brotherhood's End. Yup. Get that card draw in. Boy, if they play a Lily, I've got a few things to discard. When I say a few, I mean like almost my entire hand. I have basics, right? Oh god, yes, I do have basics. Alright, as long as I don't draw my basic. Oh, come on, man. Alright, I think if they blow up my Xander's Lounge, I'm pretty much stuck. I, I, I don't have blue, I mean. Yep, go for it. I'm not gonna block it. I do have to eventually have a, a fatal push because that that crackling barons will kill me she aldred is such a problem i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna block this has death touch right so it dies i get i get uh revolt exile the top two cards i can cast them both hold on let me read this until there's you may cat play those cards okay cool so then i go and let's just exile maze mind tome draw a card sweet another land who doesn't need that I don't, but whatever. Uh, let's go and target the lands that are most likely to be blown up by a Field of Ruin. All right. Cool. That nets me another treasure. You do love to see that. Eh, not so great to see that. Gifted Aetherborn, though, uh, sure. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add double red, and I'm just blow something up here. All right, no more of that little annoying, like, gifted Aetherborn. That is, in fact, a problem. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and sack double red here. Let's cycle this land to draw a new one. Okay, I can get down with that. That's not bad. Now I hold on to my cards here because I'm pretty much going to discard whatever I draw off Cling to Dust. One, two, three, four, five. Because I want all these cards right now. I need the Fatal Push to answer the cra uh, Crawling Barons. Alright, Resolves. Pitch that. Let's see if they animate the Crawling Barons. Perfect. Yes! Yes, they did! Finally, I can answer that card. Rewarded by drawing- Oh, wait, I can swing and kill Lily. I like that a lot! 
Now we have a bolus. Bolus will flip. Same bolus will now go and grab, let's see, a Shieldred. No, Atsushi's nice. Although I really could have done this differently. I could have flipped bolus, gotten back gold span, swung in, killed Lily. But I want dragons. We're here to play dragons. That's what I'm doing. And if they kill Bolas, I have an Itsushi that is going to just keep getting me more cards. And eventually, I'll draw an invasion of Tarkir. Oh my god, we won? All right, well, this is a if this is a cheese fang game, we do have the cling to dust here. If they use a single field of rune, though, I have no lands because they're both in my hand. Oh, boy. All right, so it's creativity. Oh, it's Delver. I think I pass, right? Like... So they have a shock. Cool. Try to push. All right, opponent says that's fine. Yeah, I want to draw a card, so I am. We're going to go ahead and eat a card out of our yard here. Pass? They're probably going to try to shock us. They are just burned. Okay, so we have to really make sure we don't use this mana confluence unless we, unless we absolutely have to. Oh my lord. All right, dragon. I guess since I have two copies of Nico Bolas, if this gets countered, fine. Oh my god, is it a wizard deck? Oh, we're getting them to burn our Bolas out. That's the double shock. That's a good deal. That's a good deal. I'll take that every time. Good game. Yeah, look at that. Look at that nice, healthy hand here. We have Invasion of Tarkir. Uh, we've got a few of those, plus a few dragons. It's against Gigantha as the companion. Is that like Niv-Mizzet? If it's Niv-Mizzet, that's kind of bad news, actually. Yeah, okay. It's nonsense is currently about to go down. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Well, at least I have the land to play the Bolas. Shocking in another... What is going on right now? Oh, it's a light pause deck. That's sick. We're so dead. Because they're just going to keep piling these on, aren't they? Oh, that's so good. Let's blow up the Skrelf. No, no. Submit zero. I'm either A, going to get to, like, extinction event them, and that's my out, right? Like, I've got to extinction event the Emperor, the light pause. I guess I may not live long enough to see that. Because they're going to get another body. Oh my god, I think I'm dead. Because I couldn't get rid of it because of the scrub. Like, that's like a god-given, like, hand-picked hand. That is a hand-picked hand right there. Like, oh my lord. I couldn't stack my deck better if I play, if I were trying to look for a card. Like, a specific seven? Opening with uh, scrub Defector might have the light pause. Got it all. That's unbeatable. GG's. <laughs> GG's. We have a lot of cheap play uh, for this this whole round right now. So it's looking pretty good. We have Thoughtseize on turn one if we need to. Fatal Push. I mean, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what they play. Invasion of Tarkir is really just deal two, though. All right. So it looks like it's going to be some kind of Rafine humans. Yada, yada, yada. Two problems. Urtai counters, kills, does a lot of stuff. Adeline comes down the earliest. I can't beat X4s and 5s, so... Yeah, I think I take the earliest thing on the curve. Hopefully to stall, get enough time... I need a land. I need a land for my deck. All right, I drew the land. I guess I pass. That's interesting. So I can make them potentially discard two lands, right? So target player will discard opponent. They're going to discard two cards here to keep this Guardian of New Banalia. And so now they have to ditch another card. Will it be the other land that they're holding on to there? Okay, it is. I think I am just going to deal two right here, right now, to this Guardian of New Banalia. Let's see if they keep everything. It, it, we've grinded their hand down now. At this point, if they keep this as well, perfect. So I have the Exile Clause right now in hand, so I'm okay with that. We just made him ditch so many cards, and I'm not even sure what... Oh, that's pretty good, isn't it? Now I hang back and try to block. If they play Brutal Cathar, I get to exile Odd. All right. This is just more value. I love it. Okay. So they're going to get another body. Uh, I was hoping they didn't attack with Adeline because that actually been pretty good for them. Because if I block trade this Thunderbreak Regent, who cares, right? Comfy, comfy. Uh, I have to exile Odd. 
So now let's try to get this invasion of Tarkir down. Whatever battle counters or whatever you want to call them. I may have probably messed up by not playing the Xander's Lounge. I'm keeping it to cycle, but I probably... Oh no, they got the answer. Well, now I'm get I guess I'm happy, uh, unless I draw a Nico Bolas. If I draw a Bolas, I'll be in trouble. Okay, they're gonna scry here. Okay, what's my out? This has to be a land. All right, now I think I'm just gonna play the land because if Atsushi dies, whatever. Uh-huh. So they'll be able to get that Shealdred back. They're doing some work right now. If I could just find Brotherhood's End would help. They'd get the Shealdred, but they can't cast it. Let's go get ourselves a another dragon friend. Now, does that trigger revolt? It does. They would get the Shealdred back, and that'd be a problem. Let's let's run it. Yeah, they get the Shealdred back. That's kind of a concern. Land Shealdred? Sure. Pretty good. Now I need to find an answer. I think that actually works. Oh, I messed that up. I messed that up. I could have made them ditch one more card. I messed that up. I forgot there's two triggers of Defiant Thundermaw because it's every dragon. And now, let's see if I get punished for it. I meant to target it. I thought it was the Defiant Thundermaw trigger plus Glorybringer. Oopsie daisy. Wait, could I have killed them? Yeah, I think I could have killed them, actually. Hold on. Plus six? So they'd be at three. Yeah, they'd be dead. I also just had lethal. It's okay. We were rewarded. We were rewarded. There's no justice. We shouldn't win this game. I mean, maybe, you know what? It's always safe to assume that I could mis uh, misclick. You are playing against me. There's a strong chance I might just mess up. I, I, I did block. I did block, in, in fact. I won't miss lethal this time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's try this. I have no interaction. Just don't be hyper aggro and we'll be okay. I mean, I have Revaz. I can make my dragons come out a little bit earlier. Oh, no, it's Esper Cheese Fang. Yup, yup. Oh, wait, no, it's the weird dredge deck. I've seen this deck before. This deck is pretty darn funny. All right, let's take a Grizzly Salvage. Right, that's probably like one of their best cards. Uh... Nothing too bad yet. Alright, so here comes Rivaz. Rivaz will hopefully, I don't know, get us to Glorybringer. Problem here is like once they just start spawning a silly amount of uh oh wow, they didn't mill anything. But now they have another shot at it. I am gonna block. They didn't mill anything. I'm very lucky right now. I mean, sure. We just attack, we deal normal damage here. I mean, we just start clocking in the air as much as we can, right? That's the goal here, while I can. Pretty soon, there's gonna be creeping chills. There's no way I get that lucky. Okay, so they kept the card on top that they have. They like what's on top. They didn't attack either, interesting. Founding the third path, going to the third chapter, I assume. Milling down to the third chapter. Creeping chill. There it is. Okay. So now they'll burn us. They'll have a ton of bodies hit the board, right? That's two prized amalgams and a silver smoke ghoul. Yeah, yeah. Let me think here. Six more powers entering the board. They'll cast something that might creeping chill me out of this game. Yeah, get rid of a prized amalgam. Why not? Let's let's keep the damage a little lower on us. Like, I see no reason not to. If they can't interact with us this turn, we win. That prize amalgam will trigger at the next end step. That's fine. If I can kill them this turn, that's what I care about. So I need to dodge creeping chill. No creeping chill. Yet. Oh my god. I mean, I might be dead here, though. Because creeping chill now closes the game out. Yeah, there it is. Unfortunate, because Narcomoeba's gonna block, and they're up to six. I think what I want to do is just block one of these threes, then I take three, six, eight. I don't want to block any of those at all. Can they block? They're tapped, right? Everything here is tapped. Yes, 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 yes. 
Okay. Everything's... T then, then I win the game? Right? Like, as long as I attack... Because this has Menace, so they have to double block that. Like, they, they can't block my ground unit. G! G! Oh my god! Woo! We didn't get paired against any of the major decks that you would see in Explorer that I would consider problematic, which would be like Grease Fang and Mono Green. But yeah, like the deck was a bit clunky and it feels weird not having Silumgar Scorn in this deck. I think there's a more precise Grixis Dragon Shell that you could build, like if it were in Pioneer, um, thanks to Invasion of Tarkir. But all around the deck was fun, extremely clunky, definitely like tier four or five or whatever, but definitely a blast to play if you're a fan of dragons. And once you start looking to sideboards you could start adding more crux of fates and things like that but in best of one that's that's where you kind of just have to pack everything into one shell and because of that that's where it gets a little difficult because i think this deck suffers when it doesn't have a sideboard yeah so if you want to take it to best of three just add more graveyard hate and more things to deal with like i don't know mono green nonsense thanks for watching this video thanks for supporting all the content on mtg goldfish and i'll see you at the next one peace